Welcome back to my channel. If we haven't been introduced yet, my name is Jessica, the Bright Family Coach, and this is my YouTube channel. We talk about all things dog training, dog behavior, canine enrichment, and canine nutrition. So if that is what you are here for, if that's what you're interested in, please consider subscribing to my channel, helping my channel grow. In this video, we are going to be talking about, in this video, we're going to be talking about some of the best tools out there to use when you have a really strong puller or a puller at all. And I know this is one of the biggest complaints I see people talk about is that their dog pulls on the lead. So I wanted to share with you really quickly what, why I decided to do this video. And I'm going to pull it up here on the screen, but I had somebody post on uh, one of one of my posts and then there was a discussion to follow and it said I've purchased so many books watched so many TV programs my dog still pulls on the lead and the reply some someone not before I could reply to it someone else replied to it and said I've tried every lead and harness available even a halty head harness please don't use those even a halty head harness nothing worked for my am staff tried a check chain with I think she meant choke chain with a short lead bingo walks by my side like a champ plenty of tutorials online show you how to use it correctly first of all no so i want to tell you how i replied to both of these people and what you should be doing instead so um these all of these choke chains or prong collars or what, anything you're trying to use, an electronic collar, or um, they, they sometimes call them e-collars, even though traditionally we know an e-collar is an Elizabethan collar, but some advertisers have decided to call the electronic collar the e-collar, which makes people not think of it being electronic, even though it is actually shocking your dog in the neck. Anyway, these are tools. And while I do not recommend using any of these tools, I want to talk about some of the tools that you can use and where my discussion went with these people in this thread, because it's very important. I feel like so many people are looking for a tool to make their dog behave in a certain way or stop behaving, stop doing one thing, start doing another thing. And the truth is that you can't just rely on tools to do this for you. While there are tools that can help aid in training, nothing replaces the training that you can do that you need to be doing with your dog. So if you put some special collar on your dog thinking they're all of a sudden going to walk perfectly and you haven't done any training that's very uh foolish of you to think that's something that you should not be thinking we need to train our dogs and shape the behavior that we want in them and yes there are some tools that we can use to help us through this and when you do have a strong puller i prefer and i only recommend using a two point connection harness. And quite honestly, I don't ever recommend for any dog, whether they pull, whether they walk beautifully on a lead, I never ever recommend attaching a leash to a collar. And I have probably multiple videos on my channel, but I know one in, in particular I'm thinking of, so I will link it in the description below. So you can go back and watch that. I don't wanna take up this whole video about why you shouldn't be putting a collar or you shouldn't be attaching a leash to a collar. I also have a whole video on why you should not be using prong collars and what they actually do to your dog and your dog's neck. So I will post that in the description below as well because I'm sure some of you are interested in that. And I would love for you to check out other videos on my channel. Plus, I wanna take up this whole video with something I've already talked about on my channel. So definitely if you have a strong puller, do invest in a two point harness. And I will, you know, in addition to th showing you on the screen what a two point harness is and the one that I prefer and recommend, I'll also put links in the description below to anything I'm talking about so that you can go check it out for yourself as well. But um, I really want to drive the point that no tool that you use is going to be better than training. You absolutely need to train your dog and shape the behavior using positive reinforcement, shape the behavior that you want in your dog. And nothing you can buy is going to teach your dog and shape that behavior. You have to actually train and do this with your dog. And you know what? Training should be fun. When you check out my online course, which there is also a link in the description for that, 
I want training with you and your dog to be fun. And it should be. It should be something you and your dog enjoy doing together. And if you're not enjoying it with your dog, if you're not enjoying it, your dog isn't enjoying it. So there's no point in even doing what you're doing. You, maybe you, you know, learned the wrong thing. Maybe you learned the wrong way. And I get that. I understand that. Definitely check out other videos on my YouTube channel. Definitely check out. I highly recommend checking out my course, which is linked in the description below. And of course my book, because that sets you up. That sets you and your dog up for success. If you follow the seven K nine commandments that are in my book, which is also <laughs> linked in the description below. Um, then you and your dog are going to, you're going to be setting yourself and your dog up for success. And really you should be having fun with all of this. And if you're not, then you need to re, you need to think about changing some of the, the tactics and things that you're doing, but absolutely under no circumstances should we be relying on tools to train our dog. It's not a replacement for training. It is tools can, can be just that they can, aid in training if you're using the right tools and the appropriate tools like a two-point connection harness. But outside of that, the only other tool that I use and the only other tool that I recommend are yummy tasty treats that your dog absolutely loves because rewards um, like yummy tasty treats that your dog absolutely loves, high value treats, praise and love playtime with your with your dog that can also be a reward rewarding them is going to help shape their behavior so much quicker and appropriately you're going to appropriately train something your dog is actually going to be able to learn something if they're in a positive state of mind if they're happy and enjoying what they're doing this is science this is scientifically proven so do not you think you're going to go out and buy some magic bullet um, collar that is going to make your dog behave wonderfully and not put any training in with your dog. You absolutely need to just get one on one with your dog and train and shape the behavior using positive reinforcement, shape the behavior that you want in your dog. So I really wanted to just come and uh, share that information with you. Again, everything I talked about will be linked in the description below. Um, there are also some really, if you have a really strong puller, I also recommend a two-handed leash, which can be a saving grace if you have a very, very, very strong puller, maybe a dog that you really need to have um, while you're training, you really need to have a good grip. You'll have, uh, and I'll show you a picture here and I'll link it below, have a leash that you have the regular handle at the top, but there's also another handle for you to grab uh, about halfway down. That way you can keep your dog uh, by your side easier. I really recommend training and shaping behaviors with rock positive reinforcement. Before you add in any other tools, any other aids, you absolutely, there is nothing that can replace positive reinforcement training with your dog. So definitely make sure that is your focus, that is your priority. And right now we have so much time uh, staying at home that we can really put this time in with our dogs and help show them how we want them to behave and the things that we want them to be doing. I really highly recommend you doing that. Thank you so much for sticking around to the end of this video. If you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up because it does help my channel grow. I really appreciate you being here. And again, if you are at all interested in anything dog training, dog behavior, canine enrichment, canine nutrition, do subscribe to my channel. Once you hit that subscribe button, a bell will pop up. Click that bell and select all notifications. That way YouTube can notify you every time I post a new video and you'll never miss another one of my wonderful videos. You never know what I'm going to talk about in my next one. In fact, if you have any questions, if you have any comments, if you have any suggestions for videos that you want to see or questions that you want answered, please write them, type them in the comments below or beside wherever it is on your screen and type it in the comments of this video. I am very active and I like to respond to as many people as I possibly can. And who knows, maybe my next video will answer your questions. So make sure you're subscribed. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you never miss another video.